Okay, so tell me a little bit about the Just Solutions Collective and how it got started. Yeah, great question. So my name is Taylor Ward. I am the Communications and Education Programs Manager at the Just Solutions Collective. And we are a national nonprofit that is focused on broadening and deepening equitable and effective solutions to climate crisis. And we support Black, Indigenous, people of color, and frontline communities to replicate and create their own solutions to the climate crisis. And so we started our two-year anniversary is coming up this month, actually, so we're very new. Um, but we started as um, another national project and kind of morphed into this really great organization that's led by BIPOC people um, and is really intentional about serving those communities as well. Mm -hmm. So tell me a, a little bit so about some of the things you do at, at your organization. Yeah, so we um, do a lot of research and policy analysis. So we look at different policies um, that are happening at the federal level, provide analysis to frontline um, community organizations so that they're able to do their jobs um, and you know, understand the policies in ways that are effective and meaningful to their community. So we have a team who does research, we have a team who does policy analysis. And what I do is I do some of the education work. So I put on webinars, um, we're launching our own podcast actually soon. Um, we have like a newsletter um, and just different things and ways that we're trying to communicate all of the great research and policy analysis that our staff is working on to other leaders at organizations across the country. Country. Mm -hmm. So who are your main stakeholders that you partner with? I know you guys like do a lot of things, but like who are like your main people that you work with um, on all sorts of issues? Yeah, that's a great question. I think our main partners are other, you know, community organizations. Um, there's like a long list of people all across the country that are doing really amazing things in this space, um, who are coming up with great, you know, climate solutions who are, you know, have already created strategies to address like environmental injustices. So our main partners in this work are other um, community organizations who are dedicated to some of the same issues. Um, we also, of course, partner with other groups who are interested in doing research and supporting community organizations, as well as, you know, starting to connect with um, folks in government, um, government organizations who are dedicated to you know, policies like Justice 40, which is a big one that's come out in the last two years, which is supposed to provide support to um, frontline communities for environmental justice and climate justice projects. So we're kind of expanding our network to include all of these different folks to make sure that we can you know, reach these goals of creating more equitable society. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my next question was like, what kind of impact does does your organization have on the community as a whole? Like, how are you guys like, what are you guys like doing to create an equitable and inclusive world for everyone? Yeah, that's a great question. So I would say that our main focus is creating an um really explaining research or doing research in a way that is helpful to the work that other folks are doing. So essentially our main audience are practitioners who are in the environmental justice space who have been doing these work for years. And we're here to provide them with resources and support to make their jobs just a little bit easier. So we like to see ourselves as kind of providing um, resources that folks can use. And so that looks like policy briefs or it looks like webinars that they can attend to kind of learn different topics. So we'll go over things like what is nuclear energy and like how does that affect communities or what does carbon capture and storage really mean and what are the harms that it may have on um, communities of color. Um, other things include like um, recently one of my coworkers did something um, analyzing FEMA's equity action plan and trying to determine whether or not it really, you know, encompasses equity. Is it really equitable in the ways that they've laid out? So we're trying to, you know, provide the resources to organizations across the country um, to just give them more resources to do the work that they're already doing. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I know I didn't ask this, but like what kind, um, how are you, um, how is your organization, uh, how can your organization be sort of a catalyst for change? Like, how can you guys like 
make a difference in the lives of people? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think our organization can be a catalyst for change because we are in a really, since we are a new organization, we're in this really unique space where we can be really creative um, and really test out different strategies and uh, methods to create and share information in a way that's powerful. Um, and so in the work that I do, I'm really looking at, um, you know, how can we make webinars interesting and things that people want to attend and like they can walk away with it feeling more like they have more expertise in a certain area. Um, and I think we're able to, you know, create spaces where folks are able to have conversations with others that they may, might not have had the opportunity to do so before. So we're trying to connect communities across the country to talk about issues that are important to them, to encourage them to learn from one another, replicate solutions from one another. Um, and I think that's going to be something that's really, really important and really essential if we're hoping to do something meaningful and effective to solve the issues of climate change, solve the issues of environmental injustice, we're all going to have to talk to each other and work together. And so I think we are really trying to create a space where that happens and people are able to connect and learn from one another and, you know, do their best in this area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, that, that that's that. Those are some really important points there. 